I have been reading this again again quite a few times in the last few years. The name is A Cup of Tea. There was this group of 15 soldiers led by a major and they were on their way to their post in the Himalayas where they would be deployed for the next three months. The batch who would be relieved was waiting anxiously for these guys to reach there. It was cold, very cold winter, intermittent snowfall. It made things really difficult and difficult for these people. And they all, 15 of them, had just, you know, one wish that if someone could offer them a cup of tea. Though the Major knew that it was a very futile wish, but still, they continued moving ahead and had the same wish. After an hour before they came across a dilapidated structure, which looked like a tea shop, but locked, that was their bad luck said the Major to these guys, it's our bad luck today, there are no tea boys and let's take some rest, we've been walking for 3-4 hours now, they said we can make tea, there were 15 of them, but we'll have to break the lock, suggested one of the soldiers, because there was nobody there, the main officer was in great dilemma to this unethical suggestion, being from the army, I mean they're supposed to protect but the thought of a steaming cup of tea for all these guys, tired soldiers, winters, cold, made him to give the permission to these guys. So they were in luck. The place had everything needed to make tea and also, in fact, a packet of biscuits. The soldiers had tea, two, two cups each. They had biscuits and were ready for the remaining journey. The major thought they had broken open the lock also, they had all the tea and all the biscuits, used the milk without the permission of the owner. They are not a band of thieves, but disciplined soldiers. So he took out a few thousand rupees from his wallet, placed it on the counter, pressed under a sugar container so that the owner could see it whenever he would come back. And he was now, you know, relieved of his guilt. He ordered his people to put the shutter down and he proceeded further. Three, four months passed by and they continued to do gallantly in their work and were lucky not to lose anyone from the group in the intense insurgency situation. It was time for another team to replace them. Now they had to go back. On their way back, they were, they stopped at the same place, at the same tea shop. And as it was early in the evening, they saw the shop was open and the owner was present in the shop. The owner was an old man with very few resources and Ven was very happy to, you know, greet these 15 customers of his. All of them had the tea, had biscuits, and they were talking to the old man about his life, his experience, especially selling tea at such a remote place. and what kind of people come and etc, etc. And the old man also had many stories to tell them his uh, faith in God and Oh Baba, if God is there, why should he keep you in such poverty then? commented one of the soldiers. So the guy said, don't say like this Sahab, don't say like this. God is actually there and I got proof. So these guys were like, what proof do you have? So he said, three months ago, I was going through a very tough time because my only son had been severely beaten up by the terrorists over here who wanted some information from him, which he did not have. I had closed my shop to take my son to the hospital. Some medicines were to be purchased and I had no money. I had just 20 rupees. No one would give me money because of the fear of the terrorists. There was no hope, Sahab. There was no hope. And that day, Sahab, I prayed to God for help and Sahab, you have to believe that God walked into my shop that day. When I returned to my shop, I found that my lock was broken. I felt I was finished. I was doomed. I lost whatever little I had. But then I saw that God had left a few thousand rupees under the sugar pot. I can't tell you, Sahab, what that money was worth that day. My son's life. God exists, Sahab. He does. The faith in his eyes were unflinching. Fifteen pairs of eyes met the eyes of the main officer 
and read the order in his eyes clear just keep quiet the officer got up and paid the bill he hugged the old man and said yes baba i believe you i know god exists and yes your tea was wonderful the 15 pair of eyes did not miss to notice the moisture building up in the eyes of their officer a rare sight so now why did i tell you all this story walking on the path of truth and compassion you can be the messenger of god to anyone today everybody needs to be a messenger of god we have to have a lot of compassion and if we follow the path of truth we can be messengers and if we can be messengers of god to anyone today if we can help anyone in any way we should we should go ahead and do whatever little bit we can and let everybody feel that sahab bhagwan hai god is there sahab so let us walk on the path of truth and compassion and let us try and be a messenger of god for everybody thank you friends i know i have taken 8 minutes of your but i hope this does 